I've decided to store one barrel of grain in the house. Well, you know, basically for uh, video purposes. To show, just to show or demonstrate what could be done. This is this, this, just my idea of what could be done for a family, you know, for each member of the family. Now, I've never done this before, so this is going to be a first time for me too. So you're gonna, I'm, this is going to be an edited video. I'm going to have to splice it together because there's going to be a time limit. I'm going to try to keep it in one video, but you know... Uh, well, here, let me give a message to all the trolls out there before you even get started. I already know I'm fat. I already know I'm out of shape. I don't like Twinkies. I don't eat at McDonald's. All right? Now, let's see. What else are them trolls going to say about me? You're going to call me a big old fat hillbilly. You're going to tell me my garage is a mess. Uh, you know... Well, anyway, I got a message for y'all trolls. Kiss my big fat ass, okay? Now, let's go on back to the educational part. What I am going to do is I'm going to put uh, pinto beans, rice, and two different kinds of wheat into this food-grade barrel. This is one of the barrels I picked up for $20. When I'm done, I'll try to, uh, how would you say give you a rough estimate of the cost of everything that fits in this. Now I'm going to try to fill it to about here because the top layer I want to be able to add stuff like about five pounds of salt, uh, you know about a five pound bag of baking soda, uh, maybe some uh, onions, the, un the dehydrated onions I got, a few pound packages of that, you know for flavoring the other things that are in here. And that should bring that thing to the top. I'm going to guesstimate it will be in the neighborhood of 350 pounds. Or about 300 pounds of grain. And the top will be filled with lighter stuff. It may be more. Maybe about 350 pounds of grain. Or dried foods. It's not grain. Rice, beans, and wheat. And uh, it's just my idea if a family could do one barrel... For each person, uh, that would be a substantial uh, food storage. As you can see, what I have done here is I've got two bags of mylar down here in the bottom. These are 20, I think, 30, 20 by 30s or 30 by 40 bags. They're the biggest ones that USAEmergencySupply.com carries. Uh, one side's going to be red wheat, the other side's going to be uh, white wheat, plain white wheat. So, uh, you know, I started them outside so I could get them, figure out how much I was going to do. And I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, second bag going here. Alright, what you can see here, I've, uh, I wound up with, let me back off a little bit. <clears throat> 150 pounds of red, not 150, 75 pounds of red and 75 pounds of white wheat. I noticed there was some space in between the bags right there. So over here I stuck a, a 16 ounce thing of black pepper. And over there I put uh, four one pound things of uh, iodized salt. You know, just to use up that extra space, there's no, no reason... Uh, when you're storing stuff not to use all the space you can for something so uh, we got some black pepper and uh, salt or so I saved this last bag here so you can watch me seal it I'm sure you didn't want to watch me do all of them I'm gonna grab an O2 absorber here super sized one otherwise known as a hot hands throw it in the thing here Get me a little round cylinder. Got to push as much air out as I can. I could use a vacuum cleaner, but getting it up here in this thing is a pain in the butt. 
And it's going to be double sealed and triple sealed anyway. So. I'm pushing my, most air out of it. Of course, I'll do it again. Make sure it gets... Now, that being I'm using a fire extinguisher here, that sucks some of the heat out. It's metal. It would be ideal if I could find a even round piece of wood. Or actually what would be ideal is if I actually had a bag sealer. Now they're a couple hundred bucks. I didn't want to spend the money. So anyway, got that side sealed. Move this over here. Work my way across. Good and press down. See a good seal there. There's the thing over here. Now before I get this last piece, I'm gonna push as much out as I can. That makes the O2 absorber have less work to do. And anyway. So far what I've wound up with is 50 pounds of black beans, 50 pounds of pinto beans, 50 pounds of rice, 75 pounds of red wheat, 75 pounds of uh, white wheat. Okay, let me uh, go ahead and see we got some room here in the sides. I can put more salt. I think I'll put, I don't know what the shelf life is on this. But when it's in the dark and everything, what the heck, I like garlic. I'm going to shove that garlic down in a the hole there. There, i still got room for more stuff. So let me go ahead and fix up some, uh, I think I'll just have room for onions. I won't put the apples in this barrel. But uh, anyway, that be that. Let me get those ready and uh, I'll put them in the top and then we'll seal up the barrel. Okay, folks, one of the things I forgot to mention was labeling. Write what's on each of the containers there. And then, of course, you put your date, of pack two on, and what's in it. Well, I calculated this up. This whole drum was approximately, oh, it, it was about 150 bucks, okay? 150 bucks for one. 55 gallon drum full of dehydrated food. And last but not least, put the lid on. Get a little hammer. inside this ring up underneath of it which it does need to be how'd you say encouraged a little give it a little encouragement there let's see this goes like so ah shit which isn't always cooperative thing. back in and we now have a rodent proof airtight drum this drum is also 
Airtight too. It's airtight, watertight. And the old socket thing out here. I have to sell this house, I shouldn't have to fool with this the rest of my life. It's drum, well, the, I may have to move the drum, but that's what dollies are made for. And there you have it, folks. Price including the drum, 150 bucks.